Hello and welcome to the XCOMFanatics.com reveal of the Psy Operative class for XCOM 2. This is footage from the preview version courtesy of 2K Games. Scilab, now operational. You can see the Scilab here. Uh, once that has been built, obviously you can enter it and it offers you three slots. One for an engineer to boost the effect of it and then at first one open slot for a soldier that you can train to be a Psy operative. You don't have to have an experienced soldier, it's perfectly okay to just put a rookie in it. In fact, you actually have to put a rookie into it. As you can see here, having an engineer that boosts your training speed is absolutely a boost. Of course, once the operative starts training, you'll have to wait just a little bit. You'll send your operatives on other missions and after a while... Your psionic training is complete. Look at little Beatrice Sanchez. She's learned the skill Inspire and her hair has turned all white. Depending on who you ask, psionics will be considered the alien's greatest strength. Now our own Psy operatives can tap into that same power. Here in the background you can see that the Psy operative skill tree is also divided into two paths, the telepath and the resonant. And there is an awesome arrangement of abilities that you can select. While it looks to be the same as the skill trees for the other operatives, it works a little bit different. You don't gain your levels and your skills by experience in battle, but only by training. So you can actually have your Psy operative in training train new skills, go on missions in between, and then uh, just learn more. It's a it's totally different concept, and the abilities are really, really awesome. Commander, we've pushed our current power systems to the limit. We don't have any capacity to spare, which means we can't expand our facilities further. What you just saw is that you always have three choices. What uh, is the next power that your operative can learn? In fact, Jake Solomon told us that you can actually level up to all 14 abilities that op Psy operatives have and uh, that it may take a very, very long while. Obviously, uh, it's quite difficult to field them as you have to build up the support, you have to build the Scilab, and even after you unlock the second slot in the Scilab, you only have two of them. So only two Psy operatives can train at the same time. Uh, you can possibly build a second Scilab, I'm not sure about that, uh, in order to get more Psy operatives, but there's a natural limit to what they can do and what you can do with them. Uh, which apparently does not apply to their abilities. Uh, Jake uh, told us that the higher powers uh, are something like a power lance that passes through several enemies or a stasis ability that uh, just puts an enemy out of time and space so it can't hurt you and of course you can't hurt it but uh, that will pass. So we are really, really excited what's coming up and uh, we'll just leave those next images for you to enjoy.